you know how everyone complains today about, oh, there's not enough jobs. Oh, wait. You, you brought his name up. So now we have to bring in the Alan Peterson. Look at this. The live, man, live the from- myth, the I'm- legend. I mean, Greg, you know what, Greg, I'm actually currently self-sourcing deals in the metaverse, as you can <laughs> tell, which I know is something you and I are big on. And, yes. you know, I, I just really thought this would be a great time to announce, I guess, do you want to let Ray know or do you want me just to, do you want me to tell him the, the good news? Go ahead, drop it. We've decided to have our first, we've finally decided, we've been working on this for months tirelessly. We've decided that the first guest on the art of Metaverse Investing Podcast will be none other than Ray Drew. Yes. Wow, guys, I am honored. Thank you. <laughs> well, now I'm, I'm going to have to break it to you because your co-host has been firing shots at your way this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> all in fun, all in fun, Alan. Yeah, you're going to have to watch this back. Oh, man, you're not going to believe it. I think I might have to fill in as your new co-host after you hear this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's good. No, Alan's great. I, I will say I love the P275 license plate, my friend. Well, that is the you know, awesomest little, thing ever. Little, little joke for the guys, you know? I like that, you know what I mean? But Alan, we're getting there. We're getting there. So no, I'm in, that's great. I'm interviewing I, Greg, and I, I was just wondering, do you have any questions for Greg since we just did the same thing with Chris for you? Well, I would say, sticking with this theme – of the, do you, Greg, do you think, do you foresee in the next decade, or no, let's cut it down to five years, we will be able to use virtual real estate as collateral for an SBA loan? Um, only if you can use digital dollars and digital currency that's approved by the FDIC and the Treasury Department. So if so that I, is okay... So- I think you will easily be able to in the metaverse. Because- so I agree. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Why don't you guys save that? Save that for your art of metaverse podcast. All right. Now you're guest number one. You put it, you put it all together and we got to get back to Fort Lauderdale. That's all I'm I, saying. I'm I will talking. ask you this one question really quickly, Alan. Yes, sir. Uh, it's very easy to do 40, 50 million on a 90% guarantee in six months paid principal and interest. I would like to see how many of those people today in a rising interest rate environment can do 30 to 40 million today in I mean, this year. What do you think? Are you able to price stuff at prime 275? Because I cannot. I'll just I be can. Honest. Yeah, no, I, I, and I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I, I really am you know, actively and currently, you know, even in the raising rate environment, I never sell on price anyway, right? That's like sales 101. And if, and if you're dealing with, you know, people that want to put a ton of cash down and they're really just conventional guys looking to do whatever, I don't think that's my customer, right? So it goes down to figuring out who your customer is or whatever. I mean, I should have, I, I think 15 going this month, which is good. Um, oh, and that, that is the pricing there. I'm not, I'm not doing the fix for five, every five, 25 on every deal anymore. It's over. I'm not doing it. And uh, what I've learned is I don't have to, you know, the more paper I pass on when I find my customer, I'm able to, to do it the right way. You know, that makes sense for them still with large, you know, stuff and competitive deals. We're always going to price to win. Okay. Especially as you know, I do a ton of storage, but we are not going to see me. You won't see, you know, prime plus a quarter paper for fixed from, from me, that doesn't make any sense, you know? No, no, I agree. I'm, I mean, like, obviously on 10 year paper, I'm full boat pricing all the time. Yeah. Um, I start on 25 year paper, right. like prime two and a half and work down from there. I try not to go below prime two. Right. But I mean, that's when prime was at three and a quarter. I think when it goes to five, 475 on a $4 million quality in, in, in St. St. Pete or Clearwater, that's a difficult deal because every quarter point on a four and a half million dollar loan is like 1500 bucks. Yeah. I did a, um, I did a days in in Clearwater last year and that was a 504, you know what I mean? So there's, again, though, that's kind of, it depends on the customers too. I know that Ray's made the second best 
a most exciting internet announcement. First being the decision. We're all there. Don't pretend that that wasn't exciting. <laughs> that was great. That was great. That was oh, good. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, I was, bro, yeah. I was there. I remember like it was yesterday. That was classic. Number two is niching down and just tackling biz acts because it's what you love to do. You know what I mean? So I think that's it, it just, quite frankly, like that's kind of a, that's a space. I mean, it, it, I know you do a lot of hotels, right? You know, that's something yes. that I've done a couple of them, but I wouldn't be the expert in it the way you are. And I think that's what's so cool about what we do. We all know what each other can provide value to our, our larger network at whole, right? And that's one of the biggest things that I always say is don't try to reinvent the wheel. Right. I can do a credit memo on a hotel, gas station, or liquor store in my sleep. Literally. <laughs> I know. I mean, you just change <laughs> you just change the city, the flag, or or the state, whether it's choice or Wyndham. You know, my favorite hotel is a quality inn. I, I've probably done countless quality inns on the choice side. On the Wyndham side, they're super eights, you know, for days ends. I mean, that's it. Those are, they have low default rates. Look at the NAICS charge off codes. Um, who doesn't drink? Everyone drinks. Liquor stores always do well, you know? Right. It's <laughs> in the pandemic, they did great. <laughs> exactly. Because the bars were shut. I've seen numbers on liquor stores 40, 50, 60 percent. Well, that's why I'm only I'm trying to do more rehabs now. So I'm always looking for the next play. Mm, so I'm always thinking drug ahead. and alcohol treatment centers exclusively right now. I like that. Alan, you should, do, you should do the ones for the opioids, dude. That sounds like an episode for your podcast. Yeah, well, <laughs> save save some more good stuff. They are just for I've lost control of my podcast. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, thank you metaverse. for thank you for um, shining a light on the metaverse. Um, We're talking in thirty minutes, by. sir. Yeah, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for having me. Then always great to connect with both of you guys. I'll talk to you soon. All, All right, right, later. Have a good one. Thanks, Alan. man.